Ever since his phenomenal debut, the young Carlos has knocked down giant after giant. Even soaring as high as number seven in the current rankings. If praises from Novak Djokovic aren't enough, even the veteran Rafael Nadal had quite a lot to say about this star. Let's find out what legends have to say about this new trailblazer. The 19-year-old has got the evolution of tennis technique and style to an end point, and he appears to be the pace setter for many players now. This was a reality that Alexander Zarev couldn't accept after Carlos shattered his game. Let's face it, when a player is at the top of his game, he is basically unstoppable. After receiving a nasty beating, Zarev blamed everything except the dangerous skills of Alcaraz. He just couldn't accept that this young phenomenon could smack his ass. He blamed his uncoordinated performance and the lack of sleep from several nights before. To his credit, he did have a few good things to say about his opponent. Here's what he had to say. To play a final against Carlos Alcaraz, who for me is the best player in the world right now, in a Masters 1000 event, it is difficult. Surely this admittance, after being crushed, will show that Alcaraz is not someone you can take lightly. If you make the mistake of underestimating him, you're definitely getting smashed on the court. He said that during the warm-up, he already knew he would struggle. Zarov confessed that he was a little bit late to catch the super fast shots of Alcaraz. If you are playing against the best players in the world, you have to be at your top. Otherwise, you will have no chance. That day, he had absolutely no chance. You should have seen the shock on his face after the defeat. With the whole world watching, Alcaraz had claimed the title of Golden Boy once and for all, and he wasn't stopping there. It just seems normal that Zaroff might admit Carlos a great and worthy opponent. He also couldn't take the blame for his loss. There surely must have been a reason for his foul play. We do understand Alexander. Just remember that's what happens when you let your guard down. While Zeroff might be sulking in defeat, the legendary Murray had plenty of good things to say about Carlos ahead of their Indian Wells meeting. Andy Murray, who joined the three icons to make up a vaunted Big Four, did have some luck against Alcaraz at the one-off fall edition of the Indian Wells in 2021. He's already a fantastic player, but he's got bags of potential said Murray before he faced the young star. He continued by stating, I think there are a few guys that can get there, but just from watching him, I don't see many flaws for a young player. You see, Murray has an eye for talent, and Carlos isn't just a world talent, but the world's potential best, and he was just 18. However, while Murray must have had an in-depth respect for the growing star, he didn't go soft on him at the match. Regardless of the legend's talent, he had to confess that the match had been a tough one and compared his victorious match with this 18-year-old as the battle of the generations, which may as well be his best since he returned from his career-threatening hip resurfacing surgery. The former world number one must really admire this youngster because he was always seen watching the player in the stands. Slowly but surely, Alcaraz was beginning to earn his stripes on the court. The 2021 Indian Wells might have established a foundation for Carlos, but his 2022 season confirmed his talents, especially with the comments by his longtime idol, Rafael Nadal. In this edition, Alcaraz fell just short of becoming the first player in the year to beat Nadal. Alcaraz competed extremely well against Nadal, but the record 21-time Grand Slam champion escaped with a 6-4, 4-6, 6-3 win. 
After the match, Nadal commended Alcaraz and said the young star has all the ingredients to become a great player. You don't need to tell us, Nadal. We know Alcaraz has all the sauce. After all, he pushed Nadal all the way to the third set. In fact, the ruthless player and idol confessed that he had prepared for this match like he wanted to play against a World 8 player and not just a teenage youngster. He analyzed his competitor's skills in an interview after the match. Nadal really seems to think this teenager has all it takes to become a giant. Don't just take our word for it. Let's hear it out of the legend's mouth. Here is what Nadal had to say. Alcaraz can play very aggressive. He can play defensive because he's super fast, and he can defend amazing balls. Of course, when he's playing aggressive, it is difficult to stop him because the quality of his ball is very high. I think he has all the ingredients to become an amazing champion. I didn't come to the match more nervous because I was playing a youngster. Nadal felt Carlos's ingredients at the 2022 quarterfinal Madrid Open in May. This praise keeps on getting stronger, especially when it comes from the current world number one, Novak Djokovic. After the match at the Mutual Madrid Open, Djokovic said, for somebody of his age to play so maturely and courageously is impressive. He deserved to win. He went further to evaluate the youngster's skills, stating that his kick in altitude here is huge and it was just difficult to deal with his ball, and I wasn't feeling my return from that side. He was serving a lot of kicks just to put himself in good position. He commented in another, already he's breaking a lot of records as a teenager, winning two Masters events this year, a couple of ATP 500s, so far, he's the best player in the world, no question, this year. A good one from Carlos, surely. Djokovic must have dropped a sweat in defeat, but he wouldn't let it stop him. Being the best player in the world, as commented by Novak, results in this next super player's focus on him. It could be that Titipas might take up a book to study the younger player as he said he would like to be the young champ in the future, regardless of him being older and better experienced. The Greek star said, I think he puts a lot of energy into every single shot. He is quick, he has a good reaction time, and he reads the game well. He inspires me a lot. I really want to be like him. I look up to him. The Greek went further to compare Alcaraz with himself during the first time on the ATP Tour. You see, the 23-year-old won his first title at the age of 19 in Stockholm, the same year he also reached the finals of the ATP Masters Canada and the Barcelona Open. Comparing himself with Alcaraz, Stefano said, You can see he's very hungry. He plays very fresh and hungry like he has nothing to lose. It reminds me of my early days when I was introduced to the ATP Tour. I didn't really know what to expect along the way. I was just playing carelessly, completely free-spirited. It's a nice thing to see. Well, what goes around comes around. Stefanos must have enjoyed his time. Now it is Carlos's. Stefanos couldn't have said it better than Casper Rudd himself. After losing to Alcaraz in Miami, which earned Alcaraz his first Masters title, Rudd commented that his opponent is one of those new, rare talents one doesn't just see often. And obviously, if you look back in history, you see that this kind of players reach far and win big titles. And he's already won one of the bigger titles of the sports. So, I think we're all impressed, and I am also. Though Carlos might be super at his game, which the Norwegian admitted to, Rudd can be accused of being a bit of a hater as he believes Alcaraz isn't all that. Despite his doubt, Rudd still had to give credit to our main man Carlos. Check out his words. It's not like he's inhuman, but he's very impressive, 
and I think of course he'll probably only get better as the years go by and he'll practice more and I know he's a hard worker, the Norwegian predicted. Alright guys, that is it for today. You can check out my previous videos via the links below. And if you haven't clicked on the subscribe button yet, you can as well do so now. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to get notified in anticipation of my next videos. See you then.